Do you ever wonder if God exists? Or maybe you're sure God doesn't exist. Or maybe you think it's possible that God exists, but it's not provable. Do you ever wonder why some people speak of God as if he's so real and wonder what evidence they have for their beliefs? After all, isn't belief in God something that you just have to have faith in and not evidence? In this video, I'm going to prove God exists in less than five minutes. Because the universe is here, we can say two things about it. Either something created it or nothing created it. Now let's think about that. Can something create something? Well, yeah, of course something can create something. Can nothing create anything? No, that doesn't even make sense. Nothing is nothing, so it can't create anything. Now there's also another view we have to consider. Some people say that we are living in an internal universe. One thing to note, though, is the reason people would say we're in an eternal universe is they want to say there is an infinite past. Now, why would you want to argue there's an infinite past? Well, if there's an infinite past, there doesn't have to be a beginning. And if there isn't a beginning, there doesn't have to be a creator. Now, I'm going to give you four different arguments to consider, and these aren't religious arguments. They're actually philosophical and scientific arguments. And the first one goes back to this infinite past idea. If there were an infinite amount of days before today, today would have never arrived. Another thing to argue is an absolute infinity. If you add 500 million to infinity, what do you get? You get infinity. What if you subtract 20 billion from infinity? You still get infinity. How about some scientific evidence to consider? The second law of thermodynamics says that when we reach full entropy, there's basically going to be a heat death of the universe. And what that will look like is it's going to be cold, lifeless, and dark. Now, if there were an infinite amount of days before today, we would have already reached this point of full entropy, but we haven't. And also, let's consider the expansion of the universe. In the late 20s, the Hubble telescope showed us the universe is expanding. But what's really significant about this is if you trace this back, it gets to a point before space, before time, before matter, and before energy. This would literally be the beginning of the universe. So for these reasons, we can conclude this is not an eternal universe. Now going back to what I said in the beginning, either someone created the universe or nothing created it. We've already ruled out nothing can create anything, so someone would have had to have created this universe. Now, what attributes would you have to have to create this universe? For one, you'd have to be extremely powerful. You'd have to be able to create matter and energy. You'd also have to be intelligent. You'd have to ingeniously order everything that works in this universe and design everything perfectly. You would also have to be personal. And you might say, why would you have to be personal? Well, a mind can only create a mind. And if you have a mind, you can think. If you can think, you can interact. And if you interact, that's something you do on a personal level. You'd also have to be spaceless. You cannot occupy the same space of something you're creating, or else you'd be in the way of it. You'd also have to be timeless. If you caused the origin of time, there wasn't time before you created time. You'd also have to be eternal. This means without beginning or end. And if you're timeless, a temporal beginning is impossible. And lastly, you'd have to be immaterial, which is basically invisible. And this is why you don't see the creator of the universe. Now ask yourself, does God fit all of those attributes? He's the only one that does. So this is why we can conclude God exists. Now you might ask, who is God? And I would say, God is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. But that is content for another video. Thanks for watching.